Okay, hello, hello, hello. Let's play some expeditions. Okay, well, looks like we're gonna do, start off with cannon again today. So, let's do that. Okay. Shall we just take this rumble? Or are we gonna go Yasuo and try to meme it up with Yasuo? So probably just take Yasuo and try to meme it up with Yasuo, I'm guessing. So let's do that. I do like Rumble, and like we rarely get to see him, so it kind of makes it a little sad to pass on him, but like, Ken and Yasuo is the obvious pairing. Anyways, God Rail and Lightning Rest here. Uh, Trauma Conspirator. Charm and Tornado Warrior. Uh, ooh, uh, let's go look at Will. Let's go Lightning Rush, uh, Tornado Warrior. Let's go Defiant Dance, Elder. Let's go... Blade Scout, Homecoming. Blade Willer, Tornado Warrior. Captain is also slightly tempting. Lightning Rush, Memory Cloak. Uh, maybe it should have been the uh, the mourned and um, and the recall. I I kind of overlooked it on the other side of the board. Take the charm and concuss the palm here, though. Take the blade roller and dancing droplet. Take the quicken and woodland keeper. And what do we want here? I like this tail cloak. I, just, I don't think it's really the right t deck for tail cloak, but like, look at our curve. We don't really need to look out. <laughs> that is a fact. Okay, I think <clears throat> I think we probably have a few too many charms though, so this might be a little interesting. Eh? Yeah, the biggest problem with Charm is just the focus speed. First burst speed would be much, much better. <laughs> oh my, well we... We do get a pretty quick queue time, but it looks like we're having trouble loading into the game. So that's always fun. Whew, it is freezing in here too. Hey, you would think it's winter or something. Imagine. Okay, are we actually gonna have to play this game? Or are we just gonna see an exploding nexus? Exploding nexus is. Oh my. <laughs> oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, let's try again. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, long wait. Long, long wait. That's okay.
Jeez. <laughs> we went from having an instant queue to having a bot. I see how it is. Okay, Callista and Heimerdinger. I always like to double check with to see if the bots are cheating <laughs> these days out there finding out Draven bots. Anyways, let's um, keep Cannon Mulligan the rest. I possess the secrets of King Koo. This is Tempest! Okay, uh, let's play Kakologist. Uh, all oh, these are not great. We'll take the recall, though. How are they gonna open attack and then play the Elder? So next turn, like Tornado Warrior, and then I uh, bounce. I guess bounce the Elder, and then that's it. Yeah, that's probably best. So let's block the one one over here. Okay, that's fine. What you looking for? Okay. Let's play the elder. I'm a dinger. Looks like we probably want to try to kill the Simon Digger. But the palm is can we? I guess we can. No good blockers for this, so. Ooh, barkeep. Time to get the RNG going. That could be scary. Let's play the auto for now. It's gonna play the blade thriller. And full attack, huh? Okay. What are these blocks looking like? Here. Here. Don't want any trouble. Here and here. I will teach you. I could recall the auto, but I just don't think it's needed at this point. I think this is fine, then we could open attack for what pie close to lethal it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's just lethal. Uh, I say no. Is that a lethal range though? Now who's got the upper hand? Uh with, with the blade twill it looks like now. Okay, well that wasn't too difficult. I serve the Kinku. They could not hope. It was a bot though, so <laughs> it is tough to say how good this deck is, you know, just beating up on bots. Yeah, uh, Kenna's got a ways to go before he catches up to the rest of the champions though. Hmm... I'm leaning Ari? 
Because I think I'd rather have like the Thunder Fist and Kakala just than anything else. And I also think she has, yeah, she definitely has the lowest master points. Because like, I don't, don't necessarily want a Yon, and I definitely don't want an Ancient. Yeah, the biggest problem for Ancient is it really should cost like 3 mana, like the AP and Z for 3, that gets discounted to 2. The fact that it's no, it's not only a 4 cost card is just really bad. Anyways, we got uh, Puff Caps. Team 1 Strain. Eh, looks like we just keep this. Good morning, Zombie. Hope you have, hope you have a good day over there. Try that again. Oh, by the way, what's your turn on the team, man? Okay, I guess he just wanted to uh, kill Cannon on turn one. Fair enough. Okay, let's start the tornado, will you? My opponent seems to be missing his team of them. So... Ooh, that's definitely not bad. Let's go and play out of them. So are we gonna block this? Are we gonna try to race him? I'm more leaning towards trying to race him. So I'm just gonna take this damage. And then open attack for six. And then figure it out from there. Maybe we play like Oncologist and uh, play Twiller. Okay, that is fine. That's this team out. Uh, I was really hoping for a bouncing blade there. <laughs> uh, we just take the lightning rush. Take a peek at life beneath the waves. Think it fast. Cute. Ooh, droplet. <laughs> we three will have blood. Okay, let's pass. I need a copy of the Concologist, that's an interesting choice. Okay, so probably just the Blade Scout, Droplin, and Yasuo. Let's start the Blade Scout. Actually, let's start Droplet. Uh, interesting choices apparently he has. Okay, Blade Scout.
Ooh, so what's Kizzy ass right here that like, got gotten off of this? Like maybe a willing death? Well, uh, nothing for two men, I'm pretty sure. Follow the wind, but watch your back. Only units, so I can't recall this if I wanted to be Mimi, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Ooh, I take those blocks. So we're obviously not scared of a teamer. We got a um, blocker. We got a kill spell. So a teamer is not an issue. Fear the power. Swain. Yeah, Swain, you can just go back to, the, to your hand. Okay, well that was pretty darn easy too. It looks like this deck has some um, some legs behind it. Underneath it? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, we take the win. Hmm. I think it might be another Yasuo. How many, how many acts of recalls for other units do we have though? We have the one here. Two, three, four, five. But after that, so really, it's only five. Compared to like how many elusives do we have for this? Because like always, only really good for elusives. So we got the one, uh, one and a half. <laughs> uh, it does look like a Shasta, doesn't it? Because otherwise, yeah, otherwise always this actually has a hard time attacking. Oh, I missed one, didn't I? I missed the, um, Conspirator, but that's only two and a half. Yeah, unless you have a way to buff up, um, always, um, health. Or not health, attack. It's, you just really need to lose this with her. And we don't have a way to buff up our attack. And I don't think we have nearly enough recall to like rely, we rely on, her, on her being leveled up. But it, it's kind of close, actually. I think I think overall though in this particular deck though the Yasuo is probably just better. Okay, so we got LeBlanc, uh, Bomb, and Ash. Okay, do it like this. Um, actually that Ash is not the Ash. The LeBlanc is um could be um killed for charm. So let's keep the charm. Damage. And okay, so if he's not playing anything, I'm gonna be a little bit more aggro and play the tornado while you're here. Would have been the concologist otherwise, though. I will deal an extra point of damage on the open attack. Yeah, so let's open attack, play order. That's the little block. We deal with it um, on next attack step. So we'll just take the five damage for now. To serve the greater good. Hunter is slightly annoying. How do I want to handle the center, actually? I mean, I could stun it, but that seems kind of bad when I have a Yasuo in hand. To waste the stun. I think for now we're just gonna pass. Oh, this is gonna. Okay. Honestly, that's like the least, <laughs> least um, part of my unit, so I'm perfectly okay with that dying. Okay, so we just play the Astro. Uh, 
Okay, so... So what happens here? Like, I, I, try, I try to define dance, he responds with, like, uh, bloody business. That does not seem great. Okay, so let's start off an attack, then. Willing death? Gotta be willing death. Bad of you, eh? Okay, well, I was certainly not expecting that, but... We could kind of deal with it. <laughs> Um. Well, for now, we keep our uh, Yasuo alive. I don't know, Battlefield might be a little too... You know, optimistic against a Yasuo deck. Anyways, if he open attacks, we just block with the 1-1. One, one. And if he does that, we just put it back to his hand. Take another 5 damage, unfortunately. You know, the biggest problem here is, like, the LeBlanc's just getting replayed, but... We still have to do it before combat. I would say though, my e even having to put a stop to that battle for you, the block, we're still pretty far behind here. What wondrous discoveries await below? Uh, yeah, this is really not great. Okay, well, we do this for now. attack your turn yeah that's annoying Like I said, this is really not great. Uh, let's kind of play the Conchologist. Yeah, those were not what I was looking for. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. I need just a moment. Well, at least him not opening attacking was actually pretty decent for us. Because, like, like th these attacks are not great for him. I alone decide my fate. Persistence is key. Uh, fuck. I just... I need to use the eye, man. I need to use the eye. As soon as I hit OK, I'm like, wait, LeBlanc's leveling up, isn't C. Wow, we we just threw this game just because we didn't use the eye. Now, where did that one run off to?
Uh, yeah, that that was a that was a massive throw. Uh, getting my opponent for correct ordering too. Man, I I cannot believe I got lazy there. Okay, can we salvage this? Looks pretty pretty iffy, to be honest, but. Uh, apparently the answer is no. <laughs> okay, well, to be fair, that makes me feel a little bit better because we probably would be losing to this anyways. So, I feel better about the misplay. <laughs> Okay, anyways, um, let's take another charm. Shame concede. I'm not beating two ten tens. <laughs> what about a shame concede to concede after the Yasura died? Okay, we got Fizz, Pantheon, and Taric. Not a particularly great opening hand. Let's keep the Thunder Fist, Mulligan the rest. And not a particularly great redraw. And not a good top deck. <laughs> it's fine, we'll find something, we'll find something. So let's pass for now. Yeah, this was a decent top deck at least. Of course, we could probably use some interaction for this stupid um, Fizz, can't we? Also, maybe we should have played the Keeper there to block this stupid um, Fizz. Looks like we're just kind of dying to um, Agro at the moment. Follow the wind, but watch your back. I gotta be the Thunder Fist. Yeah. Strike hard. Well, I will say the lack of um of interaction in my hand right now is a bit of an issue. 
Like we do some interaction. Yeah, that unfortunate, but that's okay. Unfortunately, this um, recall in the phase is probably just not working. <laughs> Jeez, five six. So this is this is it's like even a good blocker now, which is fun. that one. Where's my charms? Like, don't we have like a ton of charms and we just can't find them? Which is actually like, kind of annoying. Yeah, we have like four charms, like a 20% chance of drawing them. Well, fine. Uh, let's actually take the looser though. Why would you tap out though? Like, <laughs> you have no protection against a uh, stun if you if you tap out like that. Seems not great. What would you wish to learn? Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Just open attack, lethal. Ill winds blow. Box over here. Five, seven, eight. Yeah. Live at one, so I need to find a damage off this oncologist. Thanks, Mizero. Thanks for stopping by. Always appreciate it. What wondrous discoveries await below? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we so we came back from the misplay slash feel the rest. So that's nice. We will probably lose that game without feel the rest after that misplay, apparently. <laughs> uh, 
At least the feel that has made it feel a lot better. <laughs> God, this just seems way too slow for our deck. Plus, we don't really recall that many good things. Yeah, I'm still going to take it, though. I think I'm going to take the, the Lightning Rush with the Shield of the Forest. Maybe it ends up being like a um, surprise lethal on turn 8 if we get that far. Because we do have a lot of self recall too, so I mean, it, it should always be summoning 3 units on turn, turn 8 at least. Okay, so we got um, Pantheon and Yasuo over there. I think I'm just going to keep this. You could argue against uh, keeping both two drops, but I'm honestly not sure which one I would want to be playing on turn two, so there was that. I think it's another one of the situations where if um, if he plays nothing, I want to be a little more aggro. Or if he plays something, I want to um, find some options. A little luck for those who need it. I think we can still just afford to play this now. An open attack. Calm is the tornado. I tried to fight 3 2. I'm fine with that. Sadly, this um, Elder is not all that great, is it? It buffs up one unit. Okay. Uh, let's just take lightning rush. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Let's open attack. That's well have another spell in hand. Um next take a card card draw. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. They would say enough. Okay. What are we doing here? Just taking the damage? I guess we could play the barrier, yeah, save some da save some non damage. Take a peek at life beneath the waves. Try to stun it and like open attack. Which might just be correct. Yeah, I think it's a stun and just open attack. There's no chance he never attacks here. <laughs> Let's just stun it now. Oh, memory cloak. I was not expecting that. That's a little unfortunate, but it's fine.
Death is like the wind, always by my side. Yula, are you ready to stand for Pylos? No, Atreus. I will stand for Yeah, that spirit sword's pretty darn annoying, that's for sure. Eh, uh, let's pass for now. This Pantheon is going to become a problem, though. They will know. Okay. Let's just hit skip block. Sunburst, eh, yeah, that's also annoying. Okay, that's a good draw, at least. You can fight, show me. Do not stand against me. So they just trade. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just fine with that. Can't say my concologist. I mean, they, this is completely safe. So saving the concologist, right? Should be. Looks like he's got a stunt for this, but that's fine. Oh, he's got a whimsy. Uh, well, there's no point. I'd just get a school back in my hand, so yeah. We just let that happen. Play a couple of conchologists that he knows about. Let's draw a card. Another charm? Another charm's probably fine. Ah, oh, we got a little bit of cannon. Forgot about him. We probably screwed that up a little bit, didn't we? Let's just go and play the Astro then. Probably didn't, didn't need to do that. I was thinking the problem is like we could tack into it with the um, three-two and get like two stuns, but it just doesn't work. 
By my spear, the gods will know war. <laughs> no. I mean, do we actually take another lightning rush? I mean, we're not really winner for losers, to be fair. And, like, this is not a card we ever really want to, like, bounce back to our hand. So, yeah, let's just take another lightning rush. Okay, Dodosa, that's a familiar name. We got Ash and, um, Shivana. Well, that is a pretty bad redraw. Yeah, actually, maybe God will onto a droplet's not the worst. Pretty bad, though. <laughs> Pretty bad. Let's hope. Let's hope we can find something better for this god for this um god Rillo. Take three damage. Uh, the, the, these are great, great hands. That's not even worth attacking into this. I'm just gonna end round. Let's play the Astro next turn. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Yeah, so we're pretty free to block with Yasuo here because if he's got any buff spells, the stun takes care of it. Hope you brought friends. Our life. Yeah, not too shocked to see that, but that's okay. Charge. Um. Yeah, I guess I didn't have a, a play against charge today. Okay, I'm just gonna save mana here. Don't really care if we take an open dam open three damage. Ooh, hello. <laughs> That's a big boy. Oops, I I played the wrong one. They knows I have the stun in hand. Bad on my part. They're like right next to each other. So he knows that's coming, but that's okay. And just gonna save mana again. And 
Okay, let's stop the tail cloak. Oh, not the tail cloak, the elder. What would you wish to learn? I'm not the man you think I am. And Lumbert is pretty good. Ooh, that is also pretty good. <laughs> um, that is actually quite a quite an issue, isn't it? But I th mm, think we might still be fine. First, let's do this. I follow only one path, my own. And then let's take the pass. Uh, this is a lot of damage, though. No, this is actually just better. Like a storm, I bring change. Yeah, the the fast fight though <laughs> definitely a little annoying. Uh so let's pass for now. At the moment we're taking three damage from this, which I'm fine with. Done it. Uh, we do have this 8 8 coming out next turn, which is not great. <laughs> I will admit to that. Okay, let's stop the tail cloak. Oh, me, Kyalon. What will you become, I wonder? This'll take the chill off. Spirit may act free of body. Ah, this is still uh, still not great. Eight eight coming back down is n is not fun. Fast bite's not fun. So it looks like Yasuo dies here. Okay, well at least he didn't play his 8-8, so we're not really losing that much here. Okay, let's stop the Elder. Guess we're taking inside of ages. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Oh, whimsy is at least good. Let's save our mana for now. Okay, well that brings back an eight eight among other things. <laughs> 
Eight eight is seven six and an elder. Gotcha. Well, I would say the biggest problem here is actually there's quite a few bigger problems. <laughs> um But I guess the biggest problem is like we just don't really have a good attack here. We could hit him for three. Actually, I probably should have blocked up the 4-4. Four, four. Better steal is a card. So like that, I would have given him like one less out to saving his 8-8. Eight, eight. So that's a bit of a mistake on my part. That's fine. Okay, I'm a little annoyed he kept this dragon alive, though. But I think we will live. And I really want to use this to try to like get lethal with the cell gains, but it looks like we probably should just do it next turn. Hello, Joe. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good day over there. Okay, so we could push uh, like five more damage if we stun this out of the way, which we should probably just do. Dragon is getting a little annoying, but like we are throwing in lethal on next attack step with the um with this and this, so so good. Not particularly great. 
Well, at least it's not leveled up now. But unfortunately, that's... Can't really play this next turn now, so we just have to go for the show games next turn and hope that's good enough. I hope this last card is not a fast bite. Because at least, at least we know what his top deck's going to be. It's going to be the Crystal Arrow. So he's got to survive this turn. Think it fast? Cute. Aberrosans, stand together! My aim is true! Alright, uh, so this got the Outrider buff, which means it's actually been in the sand for quite a while. Which is kind of funny. Easy does it! Okay, well, if this is a fast fight, we lose. Otherwise, we win. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Approach. Yeah, unfortunate. So I got a couple of options here. I could I could go face and like just help to get more weak, uh, more damage off this, which might just be the best way to do it. Here's our chance. Intensive action shadow. Yeah, none of these are gonna save me from this. What wondrous discoveries await below. Yeah, which I'm just taking next turn. Give ourselves an out. Okay. Um I'll let take this on with this with the three Yasters that we do have. Okay, we got Sidrani and Teemo. At most, two Teemos, so that's at least nice. Eh, definitely a decent hand. Having the droplet to deal with Teemo is really nice. Okay, let's stop the droplet. A foray into the field? How exciting! Looks like we do conchologist next turn. Citizen? Oop, never mind. My master showed me our greatest technique! Just as I have 
Oh, wow. Uh, well, since I spiked Elusive, we're just gonna race him. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's just play a couple Kakologist. Actually, play one Kakologist. <laughs> what up, the Nopify? Okay, don't need the Nopify. Uh, bouncing Bomb, Stun, it's probably just Stun. Let's take a peek at life beneath the wave. At least our next turn. Um, attack. Tremble before the winter claw. Not close at all, no worries. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're definitely keeping cannon. Keeping the woodland and keeping droplet. Easy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, we want to turn away from dying or anything. <laughs> You just gotta kill the opponent before they kill you, that's all. So I, I will admit, it's at least nice that I learned how to draft cannon, because <laughs> that, those first couple of weeks of cannon were rough. I, I, I just had to realize I, you really need to draft cannon like a combo deck. <laughs> There's just like zero question about it. And like, I just I just could not get around, get my head around that, because like that's, it's still not my preferred style of deck is combo. It's my least preferred style of deck, but hey. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to make champions work. Anyway, it's a pretty good curve here.
So again, uh, what we play on turn two is probably going to uh, depend on what he plays. Elusives definitely carried that last game. Most of my games are not being run by elusives though. It's being run by by outvaluing the opponent. But had, yeah, we definitely went the elusive out that that time. So yeah, no no one or two drop. We play the uh, tornado warrior. Otherwise, we play Conchologist. Come on, Mr. Opponent. I want to hit you for one. <laughs> Is this one damage? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, well, that's going to be a Conchologist. <laughs> Is this a path? It is a Pantheon deck, okay. Pantheon and Ace Roll? Yep. Uh, I guess Link's Litter. Wondrous discoveries await below. I guess we can block. Easy does it. My research. Lightning rush. So I was gonna play the tornado warrior and attack, like I figured I could lose it with something, but like now we're just gonna hope he um plays like a three mana creature and we can just kill the saga seeker. It's probably not gonna work out too well for us, but that's at least the hope. Oh, actually it does work out for us, so I take it. Boy, aren't we glad we blocked last turn? <laughs> Okay, what are we doing here? Probably want to get the Siastra on board. I'm thinking. Calculated. Calculated indeed. My opponent is a little salty that is um, one drop got cured. <laughs> Good day we say enough. Okay, yeah, we just play yes for him. Probably so we're gonna play uh, we're gonna play droplet again next turn and then attack. And if he tries to buff up uh, Pantheon to block Yasro, we could just homecoming. Obviously, we're taking four damage here. We could also like potentially um, charm this Pantheon, like if he taps out to play the 5-drop, um, that'd be nice. Okay, first things first, let's play Droplet. Six five. So you can have the um Wait, doesn't Homecoming just kill it though? Because the uh, dear two damage. Yeah, Homecoming just kills it. I don't know why I was thinking about that. You need it he would need the um the um plus two. 
Oh, Power Cascade, we'll save it. But I do get at least an get an attack in for four, so that's nice. And looks like we're probably just gonna bounce it back to his hand again next turn. Alternatively, we could just take the damage and like wait for him to use this other Zenith Blade again and just like develop here. Which I don't hate. Plus, we, we, we get first action next turn, so we could just yawn. Yeah, let's do that. I guess you could like Pearl Cascade, but that, even that's not that bad. Okay, so if you're gonna do that, then I am gonna go ahead and recall you. Oh, elusive, nice. Yeah, so we should never be dying here. Still should never be dying, so it's okay. Oh, stuff we actually levels up. Take that back. Oh, and he got he got a freaking life steal and scout. Jeez. And spell sword. Do we actually just lose? <laughs> wow, we actually just lose, don't we? Yeah, we just can't, we can't do anything at least. Like, the, it's just the perfect keywords. <laughs> oh, man. Man, I guess we should have saved mana. Because we could have, we could have popped the spell so then stun it. Wow, those are just the perfect keywords, man. Always believed in second chances. I guess the best we could have done is, like, hope he didn't realize he had a scout there. But man, like, can you like, it's like you literally like pick the five best keywords and you got them. It was still a misplay though, because we, we, we could have kept ourselves alive that turn. Uh, it would have been really hard to win, mind you, but... <laughs> <laughs> we could have kept ourselves alive. Well, that's a pretty bad hand. I mean, this is a rematch. I'm like, he didn't it didn't really seem like a puff cap deck. So I'm like, I wasn't really sure if this quicken was needed. Another day in the field. 
I unfortunately did have the um, turn one Chima this time, but that's okay. Out to a pretty good start over there. For me. We've got problems. Think it fast. Cute. And this deck is like so much different from the last time we played it. Have to deal with this stupid nonsense, though. Eh, to be fair, we did all we like did barely win this the first time. I'm actually I was I'm, I was actually thinking of a different deck. Can you improve perfection? Don't let the fluffy tails fool ya. Safety disengage. There's a charm at least. That helps a little bit. Wanna see these moves up close? Oh, it's on. Ah, uh, that uh, that actually really sucks, cause like no, it turns not nearly as good. Seven puff caps, that's fun. Patience and virtue are the true swordsman. Here's our chance. Okay, let's attack. Hasn't to say we're favored here, but I am very hesitant to say that. They grow up so fast. Yeah, that is part of the reason why I'm hesitant to say it. Underestimate. I dare you. 
but you know he did he did take a lot of damage though by switching his block, so I guess it's fine. Close open attack, Luther's just not quite there. Okay. <laughs> so we made it a final boss. Couple of iffy games along the way, but we made it. Okay. Keeping the quick in. Um these two are both very interesting. I think we can take the lightning rest though. Okay, we're keeping the Defiant Dance, we're keeping the real, we're keeping the Fae. Keeping the Charm, keeping the Children, and we're keeping the Woodland. Keeping Cannon, obviously. Probably taking this Palm. An instant Q. Guilty hands. So that's the rematch against the um, deck that just beat us. With the perfect keywords and everything. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun. Okay. Let's actually just keep this. So obviously we're just hoping for no two and three path two and four pantheon. Okay, that's fine. That is good to check towards Pantheon, but okay. Go down to fifteen. Traditions are lost if not passed on. Ooh, that's um uh, that's not so fine. Sleep is for the guilty. So, it turned for Pantheon, that is the question. Cast Indeed. Your fear and stand as one. I still have some fire. Remember this. We will resist. Mr. Opponent, you should know I have a way to pop the barrier if I'm making the attack.
So we're going to see Pantheon number two. That would be a little bad, mind you, but could be worse. Um, is there any reason to save spell mana? Yes and no. I'm gonna save it though. What would you wish to know? I'm not the man you think I am. There is Panther number two. My master showed me a greatest technique. Ooh, life stairs not bad. Two out of five. Hmm, not great. <laughs> I will say that. Not great. Find your strength. Use it well. Let the fluffy tails fool you. Hmm. Yeah, six six dragons a, a bit of an issue. Journey doesn't get you the road, mate. Yeah, this is uh, this is tough. <laughs> this is tough. Master said to take you out. So we need to open attack because like he's, the Pantheon's coming back down as a blocker. Well, maybe we don't have to open attack anymore. Today we say enough. Things never dull. Why do you fight? This will be the second time that our opponent runs into this if he doesn't have an answer. Okay, so they just trade. So that's still fine. We still only got one Pantheon left, right? Because we killed one with the uh, with the first one. My punch shot 
<laughs> okay, like, can you just not, like, not top deck the Black Pantheon? That'd be nice. Ah, uh, so is this even summoning three units for us? Gonna summon at least a 5-5, but, like, have we actually recalled anything else? Yeah, probably. Probably a third Pantheon and the and a spell to, to, to level them up. So what does this summon? Wow, only two things. I mean, he's got to have a Pell Cascade, right? This is not worth it. So he saves 10 damage, he takes 8, 14, I, yeah, it's lethal. Abject failure. Exact lethal. So if he's got heal too, he stays alive. Honestly, we we screwed up there. We should we should have played the tail cloak there, because he only had two mana, so we should have played around the heal too. So we 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 should have done the mouth first. Oh well, seven wins regardless. We got a we got a we got a revenge. Misplay towards the end though, which is a little sad. Anyways, quick break. Be back in a minute.